Hey guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you for this coming out here. May God bless you all. Amen. The 2023 population and housing census was once again postponed a few days before it was set to start by the outgoing president, President Muhammad Buhari. Mr. Buhari made the announcement at a gathering with the head of the National Population Commission and a few members of the Federal Executive Council, FEC, on Friday at the presidential villa in Abuja. He said the new administration would now carry out the experiment, although preparations for its sources would still be ongoing. The meeting decided to postpone the census after reiterating the urgent necessity to conduct one 17 years after the last exercise in order to collect up to data that will help the country's development objective and improve living conditions for Nigeria. The president noted that with the completion of the nation's enumeration area, the marication, the carrying out of the first and the second pretest, the hiring and the training of adult workers, the, procure, the procurement, procurement of personal digital assistant, PDAs, and the ICT infrastructures. There has been noticeable progress in the implementation of the 2023 population and housing census. However, Mr. Peter Obi's reply to the decision is what is causing confusion. Although Peter Obi praised Buhari for taking the decision, his comments made people react. In his comment, he said that the decision to postpone the census to be determined by the incoming administration is a welcome development. People suggested that for Peter Obi to use the phrase incoming administration shows that he is gradually accepting defeat. Most of these suggestions is coming from Yoruba people believed to be Tunubus and APC supporters. <laughs> was someone said, was Peter Obi defeated in the past presidential election? By who and now? And how? This is the reason why I hate APC. They are full of lies. They just want to package themselves. Whatever you say, they want to take it. And someone said, Ubi was not defeated. And uh, anybody that's saying Ubi was defeated is just deceiving themselves. Okay, guys, these are reactions, you know, from Nigerians. There are so many reactions. You understand? But let me just take those few steps. You know what? The problem we are facing in Nigeria is tribalism. Nigerian play tribal politics. The Nigerian play religion politics. You know, living the key thing. You will see someone who is competent, but because the person is not from your region, no, that person cannot be president. <laughs> if we can recall what happened during the first turn of President Muhammad Buhari, everybody noticed it. Nigerians felt it. They felt the heart of the first, you know, the beginning of President Muhammad Buhari's administration. And when Nigerians were saying, see, 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 me could not tell this man, made this man resign. You know, if he do this work, he should resign. This office, you know, if he handle them, the Northerners said no. Why would that happen? Why would Nigerians or Southerners be asking for President Muhammad Buhari resignation, whether he's doing the job or not, he must complete his tenure. In fact, he goes still complete the other one that is four years, making it eight years. We are all hearing it today. These few months now, Nigerians have been sorting themselves, fighting themselves. Who won election? Who did not win election? Who is fit to be the Nigerian president? And who is not fit. And all these things are happening because eh, we are not doing the real thing. 
we have been we have been deceiving ourselves all this way. You see this one Nigeria of 18, eh? You know they work last calm. There is nothing like one Nigeria. There is no love between us. If there is anything called one Nigeria, I don't think if Peter B says something, people go, you know, corner and go one side, say this is zit and all that. Or Bola Metinibu say something because he's an Yoruba man, people go corner, corner the matter and, and say this is what he said, or Atiku Abubaka and all that. Because there is nothing like one Nigeria. If we have this one Nigeria, Nigerianness in our mind, we should be talking about one goal. That is how a Nigerian succeed. That is what we should be talking about, not accusing this person because it's an Igbo man, or accusing this person because it's an Aosa man, or accusing this person because it's an Yoruba man, and for that, leaving the kick thing on ground, and we are suffering it. And we are still going to suffer it until we leave that attitude. We will suffer it for decades until this attitude, eh? We throw we am. We will throw we am. It's just too much. How do we move forward with all these kind characters? Anything when person talk this, they go corner and go one thing. They go say this. We should be talking of how Nigeria will survive. We should be talking about how will Nigeria survive. She's in a bad condition. And one thing again, this is what I always say. I don't blame anybody who is fighting. No. no. Why did INEC not do the needful? If not, nobody will see Bolam Ahmed Tinubu as enemy or see Peter B as enemy or see Atiku Abubaka as enemy. If, if Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, eh? When they tell Nigerians the other, they say, eh, may them forgive them that what happened just happened, not intentionally. Now, who is going to take the responsibilities of what happened? Nigeria is a drama country when people do whatever they like and they just go scot free. And it ends there. This thing, this thing, people life enter, people life will enter for the matter. So many things go to spoil because you do not do things at the right way. Nigerians, this is a serious problem we are facing. Until we leave this, we are going nowhere. So guys, let's quickly hear from you. What's your take on this? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you for this coming out here. God bless you. Bye for now.